In this video, I'm going to explain how listings work on your Realty Ninja website. When you sign up for a new site, your active listings are automatically imported and they're kept up to date with any changes you make on the MLS. In order to manage your listings, we're going to have to log into your site. Head over to the top of your address bar and put in slash login. Then log in with your email and password. Once you're logged in, you want to head over to the main listing section at the top of your website. From here, I can manage all aspects of the listings on my website. So if I wanted to reorder them, I could just simply click and drag and place it where I want it. Now, because these listings are my own, I'm able to enhance them. So I'll head over and click this edit icon. That'll take me to a page that allows me to enhance certain aspects of the listing. I can go in here and write a longer description or do some formatting on it. I can embed a YouTube video, a virtual tour, or anything else that's embeddable for this listing. I can adjust the location of the map marker. I can enhance the photos by replacing them with high res ones or adding new ones to the mix, generally going beyond the restrictions that the MLS has on the photos of your listings. I can also add captions and easily reorder the photos. Also, I can add PDF attachments such as floor plans or strata documents. When I'm done, I'll click update listing. Now I'll show you what the home buyer browsing your website would see. I'll head over to edit my website, which shows me my actual website with the manage bar at the top. From here, I'll browse to the Featured Properties page and I'll just click into one of my listings. The listings are presented in a nice HD format with your navigation and branding at the top. From here, people can click through the photos to browse them or they can go through the actual gallery here. All the main information for the listing is shown up front and then the details are shown underneath. On the side, you'll have everything like open houses, file attachments, virtual tours, mortgage calculators, and more. And at the bottom of the listing, you'll have the lead capture form. This is where somebody can go in and place their name and email, phone number, send you a message, or request a showing on the property. If this form is submitted, the lead goes straight to you. Now let's say you want to feature listings that are not your own. I'll head over to the listings tab and because I'm part of my MLS reciprocity or a program like it, I can go in here and type in a few MLS numbers and click import. The system will import these listings with all their photos and information and they'll show up in the featured listings section of my website. Now, because they're not mine, I'm not able to actually edit them. I have to show them as is. So if I head over to my website and scroll down to the section where the feature properties are shown, I can see them mixed in with my own active listings. All their information, photos, and details are shown. Plus, we make sure that this follows all the requirements that the boards have in place. And of course, if a prospective buyer browses this listing on your website and requests more info or a showing, you'll get the lead. Now I'll just quickly show you a few more things regarding listings on your website. If I wanted to add a listing manually, I would just click this link and fill in the form. I'll take a few seconds now to just put in the basics. You can go through this form on your own and put in as much detail as you need. Also, I can choose pictures from my computer, even if they're high res, and I can do multiples at one time. Once I'm done, I'll click Add Listing, and you'll see that the listing has been added to my site with all the information that I've uploaded. And the last thing I'll mention in this video about listings is how inactive and sold listings work. 
So as soon as a listing goes off the market, it will go into the inactive listings section of the back end of your site. You'll also get notified by email that the listing is no longer active. In that email, you'll have a link that you can mark it as sold, or you can simply ignore the email to leave it in inactive. And if you've added a listing manually that you want to mark as sold, you can just click this Mark Sold button. Once you're done, simply log out of your website.